Homeward Bound Daily Devotional by Alan G. White Babylon's Sins Lay Open November 22nd Therefore, behold, the days come that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon, and her whole land shall be confounded, and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 47 Thus the message of the third angel will be proclaimed as the time comes for it to be given with great power the Lord will work through humble instruments leading the minds of those who consecrate themselves to his service the laborers will be qualified rather by the unction of his spirit than by the training of literary institutions people of faith and prayer will be constrained to go forth with holy zeal declaring the words which God gives them. The sins of Babylon will be laid open. The fearful results of enforcing the observance of the church by civil authority, the inroads of spiritualism, the stealthy but rapid progress of papal power, all will be unmasked. By these solemn warnings, the people will be astirred. Thousands upon thousands will listen to listen who have never heard words like these in amazement they hear the testimony that babylon is the church fallen because of her sin and an error because of her rejection of the truth sent her from heaven as the people of god sorry, as the people go to their former teachers with eager inquiry are these things so the ministers present fables prophesy smooth things to soothe their fears and quiet away their conscience but since many refuse to be satisfied with a mere human authority and demand a plain thus saith the Lord popular ministry with like the Pharisees of old, filled with anger as their authorities are questioned, will denounce the message as of Satan and stir up sin-loving multitudes to revile and persecute those who proclaim it. As the controversy extends into new fields and the minds of the people are called to God's downtrodden law, Satan is astir. The powers attending the message will only madden those who oppose it. The clergy will put forth almost superhuman effort to shut away the light lest it should shine upon their flock. By every means at their command they will endeavour to suppress the discussions of this vital question. The church appeals to the strong arm of civil power and in this work, Papists and Protestants unite. As the movement for Sunday enforcement becomes more bold and decided, the law will be invoked against commandment keepers. They will be threatened with fines and imprisonment. And some will be offered positions of influence and others rewards and advantages as inducements to renounce their faith. But their steadfast answer is, show us from the word of God our error. Homeward bound.